Scientists are seeing all kinds of environmental benefits to people staying home the last couple of months. While the coronavirus hasn't had a noticeable impact on local lakes just yet, it could change them for the better moving forward. Christina Laurie joins us live to explain. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, Josh. Madison is home to five lakes and nearly 60 miles of shoreline. Every year, our lake's main problem is blue-green algae. That's caused by nature, not pollution, so the pandemic can't do much to help that. But there are several ways you can help the lakes during quarantine. One week from today, the Clean Lakes Alliance will launch its seventh season of volunteer monitoring that reports near real-time data from 70 points, including all beaches around all five lakes. The volunteers record water temperature, clarity, and turbidity, as well as any visual observations related to blue-green algae at least twice a week. If you're interested in becoming a volunteer, you just contact the Alliance. I've posted a link on our website. The Alliance is also out with a new list of the top 10 actions people can take at home to help the lakes. Suggestions range from redecorating your downspouts and planting more vegetation to starting to compost and creating a rain garden or a rain barrel. The Alliance is hoping people will pick an action or two, take a picture, and share it with them to inspire others to help as well. The bottom line is right now people are stuck at home and are spending more time in their local communities. Here in Madison, the lakes are one of the best parts of our community and the Alliance hopes the pandemic will cause all of us to appreciate them even more, which could lead to more action to improve lake health in the long run. And we're looking for any sign of positivity here, especially right now. Josh. All right, Christina Laurie, thank you.